Hello and welcome to the National Weather Service Missoula planning briefing for fire weather. Today is Tuesday, August 25th. We'll get started. Here's a brief overview of the weather impact for the next few days. Today and Wednesday are going to be our focus. We'll have some afternoon convection both days, gusty erratic outflow winds associated with any thunderstorm that does pop up. Weather will quiet down a little bit on Thursday and Friday. On Saturday evening, we're looking at a dry cold front passage. This will bring cooler temperatures and an increase in winds. The system that passes on Saturday evening will uh, pass to our north on Sunday, and we have lower confidence for some precipitation. Looking at our weather threat matrix for the next few days, usually we uh, don't include the current day, but you know we think we have some pretty uh, pretty big impacts for today. So we're going to leave Tuesday on here. Uh, winds and thunderstorms in west central Montana and southwest Montana. Like I said a minute ago, uh, any of these thunderstorms that do pop up are going to be capable of producing some really strong outflow winds. You know, in the neighborhood of 40, 50 miles an hour and uh, those winds will be pretty erratic. These conditions will continue on Wednesday for southwest Montana. The other zones, uh, west central Montana, will have a slighter chance of thunderstorms on Wednesday, as will north central Idaho. Northwest Montana remains fairly quiet, although it does, be, it does become windy and dry. Thursday and Friday, the weather quiets down a bit. There is still going to be a chance of thunderstorms on Thursday afternoon in southwest Montana. The rest of the zones will be pretty quiet though. On Saturday evening we'll get a cold front passing through. Um, that, that front will bring some gusty winds with it. So on Saturday evening expect some higher winds. Beyond that we're just looking at some low confidence for precipitation with that associated system that passes by on Saturday. Looking at the current satellite, the shortwave trough that is going to bring our weather in this afternoon is currently producing some weather here over eastern Oregon. That'll shift to the east later today and tomorrow afternoon and create some chances for some thunderstorms both days. Here's a model simulation of this afternoon. Uh, we got some pretty good radar reflectivities that are going to come through the area. This will start up, get going uh, early afternoon, 1 o'clock or so this afternoon, and that will continue into the evening hours, 8, 9 p.m. Uh, the concentration, again, will be down here in our southwest Montana zones. And once again, you know, any thunderstorm will be capable of producing some strong erratic outflow winds. Convective activity for today and Wednesday. This is the probability of lightning for each evening. Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Um, down here, again, southwest Montana is really our, our focus for the next couple days. Looking out ahead, six to 10 day outlook, we have a pretty confident high probability of below normal temperatures. Our zones up here, you know, 70% chance that we're gonna be below average. Precipitation, we're not quite as confident that the we're going to be above normal precip, but we are looking at a chance of being above normal precipitation. Saturday again uh, with that cold front, the system that rolls through Saturday will bring somewhat of a pattern change into some cooler, uh, potentially wetter weather for early next week. Quick summary of our weather threat matrix. We got some convective activity in southwest, west central Montana today, tomorrow. Things quiet down a bit on Thursday and Friday. Saturday evening will bring our pattern change with a cold front passage, followed by a chance of some wetter weather later on in the weekend, early next week. That's going to do it for our briefing for today. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a phone call. Uh, be sure to visit our website and follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.